Hey guys, how's it going? Team in place here with another Warner Raid game for you today. And we're continuing our quest uh, with pretty much some of the bottom tier uh, divisions on my tier list. Uh, playing 11E today, finally broke the vow, decided to uh, play this division again. Really like these Mirage 2000 Sea Fighters. Uh, these are really nice, but right away we see our opponent uh, going to be playing 3rd US. Gonna be trying to deal with some of those helicopters. Unfortunately, don't get the one pass on the Blackhawk there. We are heavily rushing at uh, this point. Do have a nice map for our division. He also has a nice map though, mainly because over time he can kind of build up uh, and use this open ground uh, to his advantage. For me, I really need to get in this town early. Really need to defend this. Maybe get up to here if momentum uh, can really get me there. Bought these two Mirage 2000 Cs to basically just protect me against any Cobras so that all this infantry uh, could get in. We see our Milan 2 that we bought already destroying an M150. Just have these two uh, Mirage 2000s kind of flying around to help against any bombers maybe. Uh, we see the first bomber there. Unfortunately, I literally just evac because I saw uh, this one took a hit. Want to keep them in the pairs. Uh, really shouldn't have evac the other one. Uh, but... Bomber going to come in to get kind of a nice dodge there. Uh, so our infantry is going to live. It uh, doesn't take too much damage. And uh, we're we're going to do a, a good number on these arrow rifles uh, with our Legionnaire Paris and Separate Paris Flamers. Uh, we also have the Recon Para SAS uh, with another squad of Legionnaire Paras. And you can just see how quickly uh, we're taking down these arrow rifles. So using my Recon just to kind of look around. Uh, gonna go ahead and charge this towards that stinger uh, to take that out. Moving up my Mistral as well. Legionnaire Paras over here. Made sure that nothing uh, got behind me, so my pathway into this objective is still clear. Uh, I did see a helicopter land something over here, so I brought forward these two Puma Pirates uh, to try and deal with the arrow rifle here. So you can see they're gonna start opening up. Uh, unfortunately for me, though, they don't really do a lot of damage. Uh, kind of slow on that damage output. So, gonna mark that for maybe a bomber or something. Just let this guy keep fighting. Because I'm curious how much damage they're actually doing. Uh, move him a little bit further away in case his A decides to move up. You can see just having a hard time dealing with that. He's actually doing more damage to me with small arms than my Puma Pirate <laughs> was doing to him. Uh, so, not the, not the best unit for dealing damage there to infantry and buildings. Uh, another... Mirage 2000C up, going for this Cobra. Get a hit with the Mistral. Find the finishing blow there. And then I try and target this Phantom uh, to deal with that. Fortunately, we run out of ammo there. And well, now we got an Eagle on our tail. That ends up taking us down. Good run nonetheless, though. LGB came in, uh, dealt with this Command Abrams in the corner, so... Served a good distraction uh, as Eagle evac And well, now that gives me complete control of this point. Um, instead of bombing this with the LGB, I wanted to bomb the tank because it's just a better strike, uh, better uh, investment for that LGB bomber, especially while AA is pretty light on the ground. I can just engage these arrow rifles with the Legionnaire Para. So we spot them here. Uh, instead of running across the open, taking all that suppression damage, just going to pull these guys back to a building uh, and then fight them uh, over the range there. And I can't run those guys through or else they'll get hit by his law. So just rerouting these guys and then going to unload them up in this tower uh, so that we have another Milan and another Mistral. On the right side, we haven't really seen anything yet. Uh, I have one Milan too. It's protecting this road. Make sure you can't get a bunch of fire support here to kind of push in. Shots are Paras kind of all over the place. One Mistral. Uh, we do see HE gonna land there. Do get a tag with the Mistral. Unfortunately, I don't have... Uh, any fighter uh, to be able to really do anything. Caught another LGB. This was a little too preemptive. Uh, trying to just kill some of this infantry here. Uh, unfortunately for me, I fly right into the face of a F-15C Eagle. And while I whiff on the LGB as well. So not really worth losing that uh, for that strike. Wouldn't have even really been worth it if I even got the kill on both of those flashes. Uh, so a bit of a waste. So I got to be very careful with my other LGB here. I uh, really didn't need to do that. On this side, though, we killed the other arrow rifle. Uh, but I was concentrating on other things. 
Uh, so I wasn't sure if I killed him yet, so just going to go ahead and unload this other guy early and then just move these guys forward to make sure that's clear. Uh, once we clear this out, we can then move them uh, back into this city here. So just ordering some more infantry now for the right-hand side. Uh, another Flamer and Legionnaire Paris, just to go ahead and clear this out, make sure he doesn't have uh, anything really sneaking behind me. But almost six minutes in, still at that plus four, a uh, little around ten minutes to victory. Just need to kind of stabilize uh, this town area and preferably push out uh, from here to make sure that he's not uh, going to basically kick me out of my right-hand side since we do have less uh, invested on this side. So we see the other Cobra in the rear. Uh, we're starting to see a unit come down here. Turns out it's actually a uh, M151 CP Mutt. Milan, unfortunately, going to miss that first strike. Not really a big deal if he gets in the corner anyways because I still have this P4 in here. Uh, if I didn't have a command, this would have been a lot <laughs> worse. Uh, but he is going to try and run that away. And, well, the Milan uh, does get the hit there on the second attempt. ACAV trying to come around now. Thinks better of it, though. Uh, doesn't really want to take on that Milan, too. So now, just kind of running logistics through, trying to get all this damaged infantry in here somewhat repaired, as we don't even have. Uh, we're missing some of Pelis's there. Uh, finally clear all this out, so decide just to go ahead and run these guys across for extra infantry. Have one uh, Mirage 2000 just kind of loitering on the back here. Not sure why this isn't showing up on my, uh, my air tab. Kind of weird. Uh, since this is a different than the LGB. So I still had one fighter up. I only lost the one to the Eagle. Uh, but nonetheless, still have one fighter. Really nice fighter. i uh, really starting to enjoy uh, this plane. Works a lot better than the, uh, the other French fighter. But more infantry coming into this point. Uh, some more AA as well. Uh, just to make sure if he starts bombing me and I can't really chase with my fighter. That way we're at least doing something. Uh, scouts here. Luckily for me, they don't have AT. So our Legionnaire Paris and uh, Sippers Paris Flamers can deal with that. We see the Eagle, so I'm pulling away my Mirage in hopes that it'll fly over my double Mistral here. Who at least get one shot off, unfortunately, in this. Mistral at the front here trying to now hit some of these Blackhawks. Uh, but then gets blocked uh, LOS from these uh, little trees here. So I know he's doing something here. Uh, I saw a helicopter come over here. Uh, we just see the air rifles dropping in here, so it's likely he's going to try and push in from this side. So with that in mind, uh, I'm thinking, well, he probably doesn't have a lot here, so maybe I can exploit this. Uh, so just going to go ahead and move up my Milan and my Legionnaire to this side. Uh, do get a hit there on uh, one of the Blackhawks, uh, but not enough to take it down. More supply coming in to heal everybody up. Uh, I have this ACAV issue uh, where I'm not really sure how exactly I want to deal with that. Just going to put my guy in the building for now until I figure out a way to get rid of that ACAV. Still hoping to bait out his F-15C just to fly over this area, and then I can try and use this Mirage uh, to take him out. Also getting some of these little 20 mils, uh, just because these are the guys that can unload and garrison in the buildings. So just going to use them to prevent any helicopters from really uh, being too much of an issue. Legionnaire Paris is going to take out that M-150. So that kind of clears this area. Also snuck one uh, to this side in case uh, he tries to sneak in here. Or maybe he pushes me back. I can use this guy to kill something on the road uh, that he won't really expect. So we see the Cobra's back. Just flying in the rear. Uh, perhaps he's trying to bait me with that. Nothing really happening, just slowly building up our forces. Uh, we do see a Command Abrams up, though. Uh, that is going to be a tempting target for me in the future, trying to pull back the supply. It almost got my supply there. Uh, but, yeah, supply is kind of hard to come by. Haven't really healed a whole lot. We did at least heal this guy, get him uh, full ammunition again. And then, sure enough, 
I decide, well, I don't see the eagle anymore, so I'm going to take the bait. See what kind of AA he has. Uh, but then another eagle flies out. And, well, <laughs> we end up <laughs> crashing. Uh, at least we took out the cobra. Uh, but, yeah, not really worth it losing our air like that, especially uh, with 11th. Really need those fighters uh, because we don't get a lot of AA. But I guess uh, any type of helicopter we can take out, really beneficial to us, especially with only five minutes left. Uh, we're kind of playing a game where we need to win quickly. So I guess uh, it's a worthwhile trade in that aspect. Here are infantry. Uh, because he's not really using fire support, uh, we can win these engagements. Just got to be careful of these tanks. See two phantoms coming in. Both going to take out that legionnaire squad. Uh, we do take out one of the phantoms in return, though. And then here comes a big blunder as we'll watch from the second one. Trailing that HE bomber. Uh, mistakenly fly over all his AA. So the first one goes down. Second one gets tagged by a few PVADs. Uh, but yeah, really didn't need to lose that fighter like that. As we were just talking about how important it is to have uh, these planes. Nonetheless, so he gets in the point with a Command Abrams. And well, we see all this infantry coming in now. So I'm trying to move up more of my higher HP squads to help with this engagement. And here comes the French special, the napalm, the deleter of all things. So I'm running back my infantry now in preparation for this strike. And well, unfortunately, we get tagged before we can drop. So all his infantry uh, can now live here. And I'm forced to basically buy another napalm plane because we get two in a card. Uh, I did see the eagle evac, so I'm like, ah, well, okay. We just got our tick of income. We see all this infantry here. I really need to deal with this because it's unlikely my infantry, even as high vet and everything as it is, is going to win against just all this stuff. So already have another napalm on the way, hoping that he just didn't buy a phantom or an eagle or something. So second Jaguar napalm now coming in. Lots of good targets here. We'll just watch from afar. Instantly just deletes everything there. <laughs> kind of insane. So lots of infantry just got killed as this entire corner of the town literally just got deleted. Uh, LGB comes in, deletes an M1A1 there. Uh, does get out as well. Really nicely done. Another Mistral. Uh, unloaded in the back. This one uh, has one more shot left as well, uh, which it will use to take out the Blackhawk there. I've gained a lot of ground on this right-hand side while we've been paying attention to his counterattack on the left because I saw all that investment here. Realized he wouldn't really have a lot on this right-hand side. So got some reserve infantry. We're just slowly kind of pushing up and through uh, this area, which is going to make it really hard for him to get into this point if he even tries. And then... On the left-hand side, now that we took care of all this infantry, uh, with all the, the napalm still burning, uh, really hard for him to get in this point. Have my one ASF just flying around. I'm going to use that to take out this helicopter here because I figured he wouldn't really have AA there. And we're going to end up getting that guy out. Selling some more supply. Mistral. Try... Deal with this eagle here. Finally pathing forward my infantry just to exploit uh, how empty this area is. Going to order some Milan Paris up here as well. Start moving these other guys forward uh, because there's a lot of empty space here that we just need to take up defensive positions in uh, because then we can win this game uh, that way. On this left-hand side, all we need to do is just keep our presence in the town, uh, protect the CV, make sure he doesn't get around from this point, which I'm doing now uh, by going to have this Milan 2 here so that no vehicles can basically just swing around uh, this direction. Uh, we have a good amount of AA now uh, with the 20 mil here, uh, a Mistral here. This Mistral has been reloaded. See one helicopter going to the middle. Uh, which was kind of what I was afraid of. That's why I got this other fighter now, because I want to keep out any 
helicopters while I'm pushing all this stuff forward. So I'm just seeing where this is going. Uh, we see two more phantoms coming in. He is going to take out my legionnaire there. Unfortunately, can't get the second shot off because I was moving my mistral at the time. Uh, but my mirage is going to come in for this Apache. Going to be enough to take him out. Try and get the eagle there. Get one shot off. Trying to turn him to basically get that final missile. And well, our sidewinder connects. Uh, his does not. So we get an eagle out of that as well. Very worthwhile for just losing one of those. On the left hand side. Milan 2 in a good position to deal with these M113A3s. Uh, mech rifles charging in. Trying to pull back my A now. Get more infantry here. Uh, because we are a little light on numbers. I am repairing the two highly damaged squads uh, that I had in the rear now with some logistics. Trying to get those back up and operational. We also see his CV now. So I'm preparing for some kind of strike uh, in that corner just to up the ante. Get me that win uh, even faster as well. Some Pamela's coming up now just to deal with any more helicopters since I am kind of running out of planes to just throw at them. I also got a seed uh, because I basically want to send out the seed uh, to deal with any AA first, then send out the LGB to hit this uh, M1A1. And our Legionnaire Para is going to be moving up to deal with these mech rifles uh, that came through so that our Mistral Paras uh, can stay alive. So, sending out the seed, uh, sending out the LGB. Seed comes in first. Launches a missile at the PVADs. Unfortunately for me, I lose visual on the CP there. So, can't fire off with the LGB there. Have to evac uh, both that and the seed. Eagle doesn't find any hits there, which is awesome. Legionnaire Paras and the 20 mil here doing a nice job of stunning down. Uh, these mech rifles so should easily be able to take out all this infantry uh, he hasn't put back in his command yet so just over a minute now he puts it back in and I realize well it's unlikely I'm going to be able to maintain visual on that I know exactly where the command is as we just saw it pop up there a second so now we get a cluster plane we're just going to tag it with cluster uh, that should be enough to get it out of our sight uh, as this VBL Milan trying to kill the PVADs there uh, to open up uh, for my plane to drop as our cluster plane is coming in hot. One more Milan 2 going for that PVADS. Unfortunately, loses sight, but now his PVADS is on the move. Gonna drop that cluster strike. End up killing that M1A1 CP. A10 coming in now. Gonna send out my other Mirage F1C. Uh, but my two Mistrals in here, the 20 mil, doing a nice job of just. Hitting this guy down, the Pamela actually ends up getting uh, the final kill there. So 47 seconds left. Uh, we got the game in the bag at this point as we have a massive advantage on this right-hand side. Uh, we're out airing him, basically keeping air superiority. Uh, we're taking out uh, all his planes now due to just uh, our AA actually staying alive. We've got plenty of infantry to hold this area. And we've got the, the edges around where the CV is uh, pretty much locked down. So now I'm just going for some more kills. Uh, going to get the scout helicopter there. Calls in another eagle. Uh, just going to go ahead and face uh, forward so that we don't uh, end up having that eagle on our tail. And we actually get a hit there. So this guy will safely uh, evac out of there in the final uh, seconds of the game. But yeah, really nice map control. Uh, we basically played to our advantage, which was basically just get into town. Uh, then put Milan's everywhere, make sure he can't really helicopter us to death. And uh, I think we played it well by also expanding on the right-hand side, making sure uh, it was pretty impossible for him to push in uh, to that zone. So Legionnaire Paris did really well in the town. Uh, we kept these guys alive, resupplied uh, for quite a long time. Uh, Mistral Paris, you can see, uh, did a pretty good job too. Uh, the Napalm, this was the one in the corner of the town. Uh, the first one went down before it could drop. Uh, but yeah, you can just see the amount of damage uh, that one of these Jaguar Napalms does. Uh, it's pretty much what makes 11E and uh, <laughs> the 5th French uh, pretty much playable right now. 5th <laughs> French, not so much, but 11E, yeah, you kind of need this thing. <laughs> so definitely take it, definitely use it. It is very OP. And it's quite funny when you get situations like that. 
not for the opponent, uh, but for you, it's it's pretty funny just seeing it just delete an entire section of the map. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.